being in nature and you don't have to deal with anything else but what you are out there doing and it's all about i mean how you're gonna how, how you're getting in how you're getting out um and it's just you you're not conversating with with unless you're you know you're there with a good friend of yours or something like that but I mean, if you're by yourself, it's just you and nature. It's, it's, it's how you're you're gonna respond to you know whatever nature throws at you, and uh, you're not dealing with any other person's mistakes or, or anybody else's opinions or, or or surrounded by any anything else. You're just, it's just just you and in, in, in the outdoors, just you and nature. The Van, Patricia The Van. That's, she just, you know, helps me get out there, helps me, um, I got the van to, to, to get out there and explore, to have a, a basically like a, like a mobile little base to come back to and sleep anywhere that I'm at. You know, I know I get out to the rural countryside, I can go explore these little single track trails on bike. Um, and come back to the van and have a place to, you know, rest my head, lay, and and and, and head back. You know, either get back on the road the next day or two, three days, however long I'm I'm out there. And, and in the van, I could fit pretty much anything that I need, all the necessities to cook, um, keep warm, extra clothes, bike parts. Um, simple simple i never went crazy with you know all of the whole uh decking the van out i just pretty much always i, I kept it real simple lightweight just a cot something comfortable to sleep in if i'm sleeping in the woods it's you know it's usually in a hammock or or bivy but yeah the van is for the most part like home base the old school vintage mountain bikes. I just prefer the old classics, the uh, hot rods, I guess, of bicycles. Um, everything about them, the way they were built, the detail that went into them. Um, and the new bikes got a lot of, they've come a long way, but I guess just something in me, you know, that old soul. Bikes that I ride are four major, I guess, bikes I ride the most is the Trek. It's a Trek 850. It's probably 90, 97, I'd say. Uh, and that one, I call it the turd, because everybody else calls it the turd. Um, it's just a, a beater bike, an old old beater bike. Um, I've had, it's an 18 inch medium frame. Again, solid bike. Just steel frame, rigid. And 2.4, 2.3, tire on the front, 2.35 on the back. Play around with the pressure depending on the terrain. Great bike is what I started mountain biking with. Um, Jerry, call him the wizard. Um, he's He gifted me that bike and basically got me riding. And, uh, we met on the trail, I was just out there hiking one day and you know he sparked up a conversation you know where's your bike and i was like ah you know i want to get i got to get me a mountain bike whatever and, and then a couple days later i just you know ended up getting a, an aluminum like 26 inch mongoose and rode that for a while then jerry you know with the wizard is like, here man i gotta you know i gotta steal a trek you can have and and, and ride if you like it, take it. So, 
I mean, it was an old kind of retro style bike. I liked it and been riding that bike ever since. Um, another similar bike to it is, you know, you know, all these bikes are, they got their, their, their characteristics and personalities, um, differences, you know, the GT Bravado, uh, I got a yellow GT Bravado, 1992. Um, I ride that bike everywhere. That one I bought from my uncle in Florida. I was down there on vacation. I fell in love with the bike. You know, he's like, dude, take it if you, if you, you, know, you want it. It's another bike that just stuck with me. And, and I've been riding. That one's more like a bike packing bike. Um, took it to Alabama on the Silver Comet, and pretty much those two bikes go everywhere with me. And the Jameis Dakar, or, or Dakar. It's a full suspension bike. Um, pretty much gifted to me from my buddy Mark, and... He was like, hey, I got this bike, you know, it's sitting in my garage. It's it's not being put to use, so I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to see, it, you know, somebody enjoying it. And, you know, I was like, well, you know, let me know how much you want for it. And like, all right, we made a little deal, and I got that bike from him. And, and ever since getting on that bike, it's like Mark, you know, he spoiled me. He used to say, man, why do you hate yourself so much? He, uh hate yourself so much riding those rigid rigid bikes beating yourself up on these trails and and Alex. um and he, he was i guess he was right you know i still ride rigid but but you do get spoiled on the full suspension and the Jameis explorer that one i'm still i'm still uh new to riding that bike but but I like it. It's exotic. Um, it's got bright. It's like a bright flamingo pink color, obnoxious. Some people think it's ugly. Some people think it's unique. So I'm just. I guess that's my style, man. Uh, it's uniqueness, different. Uh, a couple, couple guys I've seen that ride older bikes, and we always say, say what's up to each other because we notice. Last of a dying breed, I guess, you know, you know, so that's, that's, that's pretty much all the bikes in, in my stable. Riding solo, I, I, for me, I, I, I tend to cruise a little more, sightsee a little more, stop a little more often. I just kind of absorb all the everything I'm riding and, and, and enjoy it um, at my own pace, I guess. Some people hammer down when they're by themselves because they, they don't have to, you know, worry about anybody else or, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I guess I see myself riding with other people who are, who are pretty, pretty fast. They know the trails. So it makes me push a little little more when I'm riding with uh, a group versus by myself. Um, Wherever you want to go. But then also you got a good conversation. Um, you know, you get to share. You're, you're there if, whether I crash, whether someone else crashes, you know. So someone's laughing at you. Or someone's, you know, at least helping you up. Hey, man, that was, a, that was an awesome crash. You know, helping you up, laughing about it. And, and and keep on riding, you know, and you got, you got good company. And so I enjoy both, uh, solo rides, group rides, you know, um, like I said, there's not much I don't like about being on a bike. Like the wizard says, you know, Jerry, the wizard says there's never a time that I've gotten on the bike and regretted doing so regret being on the bike after you get on. So, so I, I share that that perspective as well.